ho, ho, hospitalized. It's your boy Z-Dog MD. Check it out. I'm live and direct from Z Manor. It's Christmas Eve, and despite having Z-Mom, Z-Dad, the Z-Pups, Mrs. Dog all in the house, I broke away for a second because this, my friends, is a medical emergency. There has been, by the way, welcome. Uh, I hope your holidays are going well. I hope you're not too depressed. We're going to actually do a show about seasonal depression and the healthcare space and all that other stuff, so stay tuned for that. But I had to break in with my Christmas suit from Shinesty because tons of people have sent me this video. This video, you guys probably recognize it. It is entitled, How to Save a Person from Stroke Using Only a Needle. And it is on a Facebook page called Healthy Food Choices. Ooh, wow. That page, Healthy Food Choices, has 1.1 uh, million followers. Just for reference, we have 720,000 followers, which is fantastic. These guys have more than us, and this video has 24 million views. Now, why, apart from straight jealousy, would someone as professional as me, a physician, Stanford educated and trained, worked as a hospitalist for 10 years, made a mission of educating people about actual medicine, right? Why would I get upset about this, apart from pure jealousy? It's pure jealousy. It really, no, because people are going to die if they listen to what this video says. Do you understand me? Let me repeat that. People will die if they listen to what this video says. They will die, they will be disabled, they will delay care. Now let me explain what the video says because I can't, first of all, I can't believe so many people have sent it to me asking this question, is this true? I guess we haven't done our job of educating the public if they think this is true. Here's what the video purports to say, and I have a transcript of it here, and I'm going to link, sadly, I'm going to link to it after I'm done with this broadcast so that you guys can see it, okay? The reason it's important, it's an emergency, is it's Christmas Eve, and we know that we're going to see a lot of people coming in with symptoms of stroke around this time of year. Stress of meeting with families, bad diet, cold weather, all kinds of stuff that might trigger, you know, acute myocardial infarction stroke. This is what this video says, and it's a horribly made video. It's got bad English, the whole nine yards. Here is the transcript. A needle, and I'm going to go through it bit by bit. And you gotta understand, 24 million people have seen this, and if you read the comments, the vast majority of comments are like, thank goodness someone has finally told the truth about how to you know, cure stroke, and we should all, we could save lives if we did this. All right, listen carefully. A needle can save a patient's life from stroke. This advice is from a Chinese professor who says that we all need to keep a needle or a syringe in the house. Okay, already, and you can hear my family's laughing in the background because this is already ridiculous. This is an amazing and unconventional way to help a man survive a stroke. What I love already is, it's like women don't have strokes? Like what kind of weird, like sexist crap is this already? Which I'm all for weird sexist crap, but this is just tasteless. Um, share this advice to help someone survive, exclamation point. Okay, so already they have the call to action, 24 million views. Take the time to read it. You never know when someone's life may depend on you. Yes. That's why I say take the time to, right now, guys, hit share on this video because we can save lives by debunking this BS. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. When one gets a stroke, this is my favorite, the capillaries of the brain are gradually tearing. This requires rest and immediate first aid. These tips will help you save someone's life. Okay, and this is a crawl on the video and it has images of people in various stages of distress. Okay, the capillaries of the brain are gradually tearing. Okay, there are two types of stroke, roughly speaking. Ischemic strokes, where there's a blockage and a blood starvation in the brain, right? And hemorrhagic strokes, where blood vessels in the brain do get damaged and you bleed into the brain. Eight, to say that the capillaries of the brain are gradually tearing makes absolutely no sense. So already they've shown that they have no understanding of the basic physiology of the majority of strokes. 
and that uh, requiring rest and immediate first aid is the vaguest and stupidest statement I have ever heard in my life. Now, I'm trying to feel the spirit of Christmas people. I have the attire for it. I have an antenna that basically hears Santa's thoughts. And Santa, when he's stroking, does not want you to actionalize anything you learn here. Okay, let's keep going. Be calm is the next line. It's hard to be calm in the face of pseudoscience. It really is. That could take lives. So I'm not calm right now. I'm very agitated. Uh, regardless of where the victim is, do not move. Because if you move the patient, the capillaries will burst and will, it will lead to brain bleeding, exclamation point. What did I just say? Okay. If the person is having a brain bleed, yeah, probably you, you don't go tossing them around. But there's something you do. It's called calling 911 ASAP. Right? The acronym that, 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 that uh, the authorities use is FAST, right? You want to recognize the signs of a stroke, and we did a video about this called Can't Feel My Face, which I'll link to so you can learn more about the FAST acronym. But the bottom line is it's T, the T in FAST after recognizing facial droop, arm weakness, speech slurring, is time to call 911, and time is brain. So you got to boom, do it. None of this, like, you know, be calm nonsense calmly call 911. All right. That being said, it would be best if you have a needle or, or and it, here's the typo where you put the parentheses sick. Uh, often you, it's best if you have a needle off a syringe at home. Otherwise, a sewing needle will be of help as well. Okay. A sewing needle or a needle of a syringe this is going to get good. It just gets better. Here are the seven steps to saving someone's life with a stroke according to this video. Number one, keep the needle over a fire, a lighter or candle to sterilize it and then use it to prick the tips of all 10 fingers. So they want you to take your sewing needle, put it in fire and start poking holes in this person's fingers who's having a stroke. Keep going. There is no specific acupuncture. It should only be a few millimeters from the nail. Just between you and me, guys, there is no specific acupuncture because sham acupuncture has been shown to be equivalent to real acupuncture in terms of effect. So that's true. There is no specific acupuncture. Um, it should only be a few millimeters from the nail. Prick in a way that the blood can flow. So in other words, stab this finger until they're basically oozing blood from the fingers, all 10 fingers, okay? That's their, how they're gonna cure your stroke. Okay, keep going, keep going. If the blood does not start to drip, tighten and start squeezing in order to make the blood flow. So squeeze, tighten, I don't even know what that means. It sounds like a great idea to have somebody squeeze and tighten when they're either bleeding in their brain or having an ischemic stroke. There's nothing like a good Valsalva, you know, to really get them to die. Let's keep going. When all 10 fingers begin to bleed, wait a few minutes. You will see that the victim will come back to life. Do I even need to say anything there? Uh, if the victim's mouth is distorted, massage his ears until they become red, which means the blood has reached there. You see my mouth? It's distorting right now with anger. <sighs> I'm better. Okay, this is just developmental delay, guys. Like this is, if the mouth is distorted, facial droop, part of the FAST acronym, you don't massage the ears. You call 911 right away, okay? Rubbing the ears is not gonna do anything except for make you weird. This isn't Rudolph the Red Ears stroke victim. This is someone who could die or have disability if you don't act fast. F-A-S-T. Time to call 911. All right, keep going. Then prick the needle in the soft part of each ear to fall two drops of blood from each ear. A few minutes later, the mouth would no longer be distorted. Do you know why? Because they'd be dead and the mouth would just be like, this is insane. This makes no sense at all. All right, let's keep going. 
Wait until the victim comes to normal without any unusual symptoms. Then send him, her, to the hospital. Then send him, her, to the hospital. Okay, let's just unpack this. Someone's having a stroke. You recognize the symptoms. You go, oh, I better listen to this video that has 24 million views put up by, hold on, because I want to tell you who to uh, go and pound on, Healthy Food Choices or at Best Healthy Food Choices on Facebook. They are posting this video. It's been shared 660,000 times, 24 million views, and it is telling people instead of calling, going to the hospital, go get a needle, heat it up, poke 10 fingers until they bleed. If the face is still droopy, rub on the ears until they're red and then stab both ears with the needle until they bleed. Then take the patient to the hospital. Let's, let's read the final end here, okay? These people are gonna, this is going to cost lives. This is going to cost lives. That's why I'm doing an emergency broadcast on Christmas Eve. All right, let's keep going. This method of bloodshed, <laughs> It's literally what it says. This method of bloodshed to save the life is part of the traditional Chinese method. And the practical application of this method has proven it to be 100% efficient since it helps people survive strokes. And that's the end of the video. So we have a intervention here with needles that is 100% efficient and it will save lives. No, no, no. If you have a friend share this video with them, I want you to write them back and go, please don't listen to a word this video says except for go to the hospital. And I don't mean go to the hospital, call 911, okay? If you are talking about curing a stroke with a needle, what was the title of this thing? How to save a person from stroke using only a needle. A needle with TPA, is one way to save a person from stroke that they would do in the emergency department. The needle of a neurointerventional calf fellow or attending who can go in and place a coil or do other things to either deal with bleeding or acute embolism, do an embolectomy, that is a needle that can save a person from stroke. Do you know what can also save a person from stroke? Preventing stroke in the first place controlling blood pressure, watching the diet, exercising, knowing your risks, taking medications as prescribed, whether it's aspirin or Coumadin or Plavix or whatever it is that they have you on, listening to your medical team and being working in partnership with them to prevent stroke. Whether you have atrial fibrillation, which is a risk, or whatever it is, high blood pressure, diabetes, etc. Okay? So, the acronym is FAST, facial droop, arm weakness, speech slurring, T, time to call 911. Don't F around with needles. Don't watch Facebook videos like this one. Not this one, watch this one. Because, you know, I'm a professional doctor, people. <laughs> and call 911 right away. Now, the next call to action, ZPAC, is go to Healthy Food Choices. I'll put the link in here and I want you to rip them a new one. I want you guys to angry face this video, and I want you to write comments about exactly what's going on. Now, it's gonna get more views for the video, but it already has so many views that we're not gonna affect that. It's more about letting people know healthcare professionals do not tolerate BS that's gonna cost lives. And that, my friends, is the Christmas message. The call to action is hit share. I want you guys to have a safe, and healthy holiday. If you recognize the signs of stroke early, you can save lives and brain. So do that. I'll put a link to Can't Feel My Face, our stroke prevention PSA uh, weekend parody. And have a wonderful jingle bells, y'all. Oh, here. I'm just gonna jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, where's my family? I'm gonna have them say goodbye to you. Nobody here. They're all hiding. Hold on. Here we go. Where? Oh, there you go. Hey, Z-Pup. You want to say hi to the Z-Pack? What happens if you think someone's having a stroke? What do you do? Um, go to the doctor? That's right. Call 911. Good work.
running. Z mom. <laughs> I haven't done my hair. <laughs> Z pup. Ah, look at my head. We're going to start saying Merry Christmas again. Merry Christmas. That is the most disturbing card I've seen in a while. All right, Z Pack. Stay safe and healthy, and we out. Peace.